No! Good morning, folks. This is Ranger Rob with the Ranger Rob Country Living. And yes, we still have tons of snow. But it's a pretty day today. We'll probably get more snow tomorrow. So we have a dilemma. We uh, broke our electric gate last night by trying to force it open in the snow. And hopefully I just blew a fuse, but I have no idea what's wrong with it. I check power to it. This seems all right, but we're gonna dive into it. But until then, Sherry and I are uh, <laughs> doing an egg run, trying to get through this snow. And, uh, but wow, how pretty is that? Look how pretty. I tell you what, why don't you stand under that tree and let me shake a branch? <laughs> no! Come on! Come on! <laughs> that looks cold. So we're, we determined that our German Shepherd, Belle, loves the snow and, and Cinder is okay with it, but would prefer to stay in. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty out here. I know. About six inches. Of... All right. This is work walking through this stuff. Look at these chirps. Hold it. Okay. Nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. Four eggs. A couple of chickens. The babies. What you girls doing? Nothing there. Yeah, every once in a while they very rare, but they'll just drop an egg anywhere they want. I did brush that off once. We got four eggs in here, but two were broken. Oh, broken eggs? That's not good. Are you breaking your eggs, girls? I usually just, just kind of clean out the whole. Just throw those in the. Uh, Compost bin. Broken egg. Oh. Hey girls, what are you breaking your eggs for? Getting a little rough in here? Just stop that. Hey girls. So darn, we lost two eggs today. Not that it's a really Oh, we got chickens up here too. These guys eat a lot of food. Yes, they do. I think I would find her a better scoop than that, but it's fine. she keeps saying it's fine. Look how slow it is. It's not fine when it's freezing out here and raining. Well, our FedEx guy just came here, delivered our plastic, and, and we got our uh, wiggle wire yesterday. So since the weather allows, we will start getting ready to put the plastic on the greenhouse. But in the meantime, it goes, I gotta open up the electronics in this uh, fence up here and see what I did. Hopefully it's just 
a fuse or something. If not, it could be a very costly problem. So anyway, I got, I got a screwdriver with me, so I got to open up this electronics. Cinder Bell, come home. Come. And uh, I got to open this box up and see if we can figure out what's wrong. Okay, we got the screws off of this thing. Let's see if we have a fuse. Sure and how we do, look at that. Right there. Let's hope that's the problem. Oh, looks like we got spare fuses in here too. So apparently this has happened before. So let's see if we, I can get this switched out. All right, so I got everything sealed up. Works fine. Just doing one more test to make sure. So, so here's a lesson learned. If you're gonna buy a, <laughs> a homestead and somebody else has built a lot of stuff, there's gonna be a learning curve on everything. For example, this is the first time we had this much snow. So knowing that Sherry works and she was kind of come home, uh, if I was smart, I would have gotten a tractor out and cleared this out, but I didn't know. Um, so I think we're gonna get more snow tomorrow so that probably means I need to pull the tractor out tomorrow. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, are you trying to knock snow off trees? Yeah, it's like, what's wrong with you down there? I don't know. Looks like you're wearing more of it. Oh, I'm getting my fair share. <laughs> so anyway, lessons learned. So uh, when somebody, uh, if you buy another homestead and they've got, you know, uh, utilities and things set up already, you just broke your... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, also realize that berms may not be the best thing for getting snows off the snow off the trees. But uh, anyway, uh, be aware that you've got a learning curve. Uh, even if you buy a homestead that's already been set up. Uh, the cool thing, by the way, Cher, in that little box, electronic box, yeah. your father put like six fuses in there, spare. And apparently that happens a lot. Is that what it was? Yeah. So I just changed the fuse and uh, <laughs> it's like, apparently that's happened to your dad a lot. <laughs> and so he put a whole couple of boxes in there of just fuses, just replacement. So lesson learned. So anyway, it was kind of funny. But anyway, uh, I got other things to get going here. This is when I wish I had my other camera. Um, it's just beautiful out here. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like a Christmas card. And uh, Sherry's determined to get snow down her neck. But uh, this poor juniper up here has had a rough time. And uh, so Sherry's just trying to relieve it of the snow a little bit. We are getting, getting more snow tonight or early morning tomorrow. So that ought to make the roads nice and slick. But yeah, just look at how pretty this is. It's like a Christmas card, man. Until the dogs go and tear it all up. I like the parts that doesn't have dog prints in it. But that's gonna <laughs> not last long. Yeah. Soak it in a little, people. Um, it's just beautiful. Fifth wheel's covered pretty good. So let's go over here a little bit. Let's just enjoy this a little bit. There's some fresh snow up here, no footprints. But that'll soon change because the monsters are coming. Like I said, the German Shepherd really likes the snow and uh chocolate lab is gr is doing better i think she would prefer to have warm feet do you think bell can't even tell where our driveway is isn't that gorgeous look at that it is a winter wonderland come here you two <laughs> hey come Hi guys, what you doing? 
having fun so anyway guys uh, hope you enjoyed the winter pictures uh, everything's so pretty these are by the way our trees are junipers this is actually an old pine tree that died we're gonna cut it out but most of the trees you see out here are junipers so anyway uh, hope you enjoyed it it was a little kind of a video to show how pretty Central Oregon can be and uh, what a pain it can be on your property uh, it's definitely put a lot of weight in some of these trees but uh, a lot of them will be okay so anyway I hope you guys had a great day hope you enjoyed the, the, the video today please take the time can you stop right now and hit the like button apparently that is something we should uh, pour, put more emphasis on hit the like button and subscribe we'd love to have you subscribe and please say hello in the comments we uh, love hearing from you uh, we got a lot of stuff going on you see how uh, the greenhouse project will start going gung-ho once we get some weather opportunity <laughs> and then uh we have uh some more uh generator backup uh, uh, systems we're having put in and uh then i got some stairs being built in the shop uh then they're gonna start painting the house on a trim we just got so much going on so yeah and we have some family coming down in a few weeks uh, when the weather is okay to pick up and they're buying some of the uh, lays and stuff we have in the shop that we're not going to use and of course they're getting a good deal on them because they're family so uh, that'll be nice I'll open up the shop more get our stairs in and then uh, figure out what all we have up in the upper half of this property um, that we can give out to the other kids um, for those of you who are new to the channel, we do have a lot of new subscribers. We bought this house from Sherry's parents. She lost her father last year. And uh, so we have a lot of stuff here that now that we bought the place, we can kind of take our time and sort through the stuff because there's tons of stuff here. So we're slowly getting it distributed. Her mother's in an assisted living because of her health. And we try to bring her here whenever we can so she can enjoy the house. But the house had... Uh, Obviously, we had to put new siding on it, new roof, uh, put a fireplace in it. Uh, we still want to put new carpeting in and paint it, but uh, uh, and make this a house that uh, one of our kids could inherit if they want to. Um, and if not, they'll get top dollar for it. So anyway, guys, uh, have a great day. Uh, leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.